WTV. I'm meeting the Burn Support Group today and having a chat with the founder and the patron of the charity. What do you do here at Burn Support? Well, we get burn survivors together because this is the greatest value for them. Everybody who's been burned at that time seems to think they're the only one that's been burned. Yes. And when they can meet with other people who've also been burned and learn their coping skills and strategies, that's what really, really helps them incredibly. It's, it's an amazing support system when they can meet other people who've also been burned. When Alan had his injury, he was in a plane crash. He was in hospital for five years and he's had a 70 odd surgeries now. A medical file one foot back and I think as I said five years in hospital. And when he came out he discovered there was no other support organisations like there are for most other afflictions. Yeah. You know the support organisations for everything but there was nothing for burns. So that was why he started the Phoenix Society to help in the psychosocial um, aspect of recovering from burn injury. Yeah. So it's getting back out into the world again that is the, the most difficult part because it's the steering of the public yeah. that people have a difficulty with. If you maintain a positive attitude, um, you be positive about your disfigurement, you're going to get attention, make the most of it, you know, make it a positive experience. And getting people together, which is what we do in the support group, just helps convey those thoughts and ideas and philosophies to them. What was your like, biggest challenge? After the, uh... What was your biggest challenge after your injury? Getting back out into society again? or My challenge was physical challenge. I had to get over the burn. And I didn't care about the people who saw me. I had to feel good in myself. My hand, hand was all bandaged when I left the hospital. But I, I had a party for the people in the hospital when I left at, at, the, down, at the motel down the street. And I had them wheel a piano out onto the dance floor. And with this bandage, I still played the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. My youngest son has been burned. He sustained a burn injury, 40% of his body when he was eight years old. At that time, I received great support from another parent of another child who had also been burned. And I could see there was a great value in getting together with other parents, other families, bringing people together. And so that's what I did. I organized meetings and gatherings and hospital visiting and, and just bringing people together and, and who'd all suffered a similar injury. And um, I just found there was a magic in that. It was a magic that helped like nothing else. And that, that was what really lined me up with the inspiration to go ahead with doing this. This is Selena. She is one of the people who has experienced the help, the support of the, of the charity. Can you tell me, Lena, how this environment or these people have helped you? They've helped me a lot by just being there for me and meeting up with other burnt survivors that I've never met before. So I want to see other burnt children who are being burnt and like mixing with them and talking to them and knowing what their experiences they've been through. You are like a, like a role model for them basically, right? Yeah, I am actually like a role model for them, yes. This is Dylan, the ambassador. Nice to meet you, Dylan. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Peter. Thank you. Dylan, where do you come from? What's your background? Yeah, so uh, my background is I'm a basketball player and uh, I got involved with uh, the Burn Support Group Charitable Trust when they asked me to be an ambassador. My wife was actually uh, working for the charity. She, was, she basically said to me that she'd started a job there oh. and I said, well, how can I help out? And she said, well, you can help by being an ambassador. So I put my hand up to be an ambassador and obviously part of being an ambassador is not only giving up your time but providing, I guess, uh, opportunities to raise money, uh, things like uh, being able to provide like a signed Sky City Breakers jersey for example to auction off at the awards dinner or, or using my contacts that I have around the place to be able to, to bring in things to, to auction off at the awards dinner to, to raise the money for the children. For me about charities is about giving back to the charity, doing whatever I can to help them raise money so enable to these kids that, that have these burns, to able to go to camps and do all those sorts of things and be able to provide support for families that do have people in their family that have been burned. Have you seen like a change in people's lives when they come in here when they get support to the charity? Absolutely. I've, I've been lucky enough to, uh, to go to two of the camps and see the kids and just how much fun they have at those camps. You know, they go along and they just the smiles on their faces and they, they're amongst the other people with burns and they just have so much fun and they forget about, you know, being burned and forget about what the troubles they're going through and they just have a great time and I think anything that I can do to help raise money that those kids are able to do that is fantastic.